Welcome to the last fright of the 13 frights before Halloween. Today is October the 30th and we're going to be working on a paper bag mini album. I purchased these Cel Orange Celebrate 3 pound um, paper bags at Michael's. They measure 4.7 inch by 2.8 inch by 8.9 inch. I'm going to use six of them in this album. And um, we're going to first assemble these together and then we'll make the cover. So I'm going to use, I want you to take these, you want your opening out, and you're going to fold them like this so that you have a flap on both sides. So it's just folding the flap in half. And go ahead and score it real well with your bone folder. So we're going to assemble all six of these together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just count and make sure I had six out. Okay. Fold it and score. This is making our hinge in our for in our book. And fold it. Score. And to save time in this video, normally I use score tape in assembling albums and uh, the cover, the chipboard covers. But I'm going to go ahead and use my uh, scotch uh, tape here, tape runner, and just quickly put these together. Hopefully this will be sturdy enough. Um, if you're making it at home, you have more time. Go ahead and put these together with some score tape and probably some glue. I'm going to be sure to line these up like that. So this is going to be your flap and your cover. So we're going to put each pit bag together, stack them up on top of each other. And you want the opening to the outside, always to the outside. And I'm putting this little piece that's the, the piece down that's like that, I'm putting it sandwich it, sandwiching it between with the adhesive so that it's make sure it's stuck down good. And these are paper bags, so they may not be exactly the same. So don't worry about that. off just a little bit but that's going to be okay. These are paper bag albums so a little variation in accuracy is okay. Just make sure you line them up on their edges here the back. Lots of people make these different little paper bag albums, different methods. Um, and I'm going to use a chipboard cover. I've seen several use that. So this is how your book, your pages are put together. And then we're ready to put it into the Ready to make our cover and then put it into the cover. So I'm going to go measure, measure this and figure out my size of my chipboard covers and we'll assemble that. Cut, measured and cut my chipboard pieces. I have two 
one for the front, one for the back covers, and they're eight inches long by five and three quarters. And then I cut a spine piece that's five and three quarters by three. And a piece of Tyvek, which is the same material that is in the uh, priority mail envelopes. So this is five and three quarters by five. And I'm going to glue my spine in the center of this. So I'm going to take my glue and just cover the entire piece with glue. Center it side to side. And then I'm going to put glue on the Tyvek. And I'm going to leave a little spacing here, oh, about a quarter inch. On each side. And let that dry. Turn that over, burnish it, and let it dry. Okay. And now I'm going to pick out the papers that I want to do for my cover, and then I'll be back. And I've got my pockets all drying on the pages. So I'll be back.